guys, it's Robin here from Queen's TV. So right about now, you're probably back home in Kingston, but while you guys were stressing about exams and essays in November, a little band called Bedouin Sound Clash and a guy named Matt Costa came to town. So this is what they had to say. So I'm here with Jay from Bedouin Sound Clash, and you guys just got into Kingston. How does it feel to be home? Uh, I'm away from home. Oh. I'm originally from Vancouver, but I spent what four years here in uh, the old K town. The old good old K town. Kangston, as we call yeah. it, with an A. <laughs> we us in the band call it Kangston. Kangston. Does it feel like it's changed anything? Uh, yeah, you guys ripped up an entire street and uh, about f like a whole block of housing that I used to remember as seems to have been bombed. Yeah, that's so. true. You can blame Hitchcock for that, but uh, Hitchcock. she's our principal. You can write a letter. Really? Maybe? Yeah, or just give a shout out and just say. Something like that. <laughs> an evil name. Yeah. Uh, okay. So you guys just released uh, your album, Street Gospels. How do you think it kind of changed from your your last album? Uh, well, we, we made the last record when we were... We wrote, we wrote Sunday Mosaic uh, when we were in third year here in school. Um, and then, I mean, so much for us has changed. I mean, we've, you know, we, we, we became... I mean, we had a lot of success, but we, we really, you know, have lots of changes in your life. And I think it's just a, it's a bit more mature of a record. Um, yeah, I think we, you know, we had more time. We actually had some money to make it, too. So, so uh, Do you think it's kind of been well-received by fans? or? Uh, I think that, um, you know, there was, a, with, our, with where we stood last time being, um, a lot of people wanted us to become a, a upholders of some sort of maybe go more traditional. Um, and... I think we, we kind of really want to stay away from being, um, we're not a reggae band. We never, we've never said we were. We were always like, we were, we, uh, I, music I liked was stuff like The Clash or stuff that was involving different types of music, but was, was trying to be poppy and was trying to push things forward. So with this record, I think maybe some people felt it was a little more poppy than they thought it was going to be. But uh, that's... We, you know, and but then some people like that. So it's divided our it's divided our fan base. But you know, so you can't please everyone. <laughs> That's true. So where do you kind of think the music's going? Like the Canadian music scene, do you think it's changing too much, or is it more inspired with, like, is it too pop, too, or just enough? Uh, well, I think I don't think. Um, I think I think the general scene, at least where I'm from, has been very overrun with overblown artistic, artistic <laughs> Queen Street West uh, mm. indie rock kids, and I'm like, you know, I'm thanking God that uh, that seems to be <laughs> on the out. So, uh, what do you guys, <laughs> what do you guys think's next for Bedouin? Where are you guys? Where do you see it? Where do you uh, see your heading, next big step? Well, we're heading to, uh, we just got back from Europe. We're heading to Japan. Mr. Ken Mr. Kenny Bridges. Yo, look at everyone. It's Kenny. It's Kenny. It's Kenny, everybody. I, did, I took Kenny. Kenny Kenny from, from, I like to always pull this up. Kenny from Monin. I took Kenny to Ban, we, they took Kenny to Banri today. What did oh, really? you think? What did oh. you think? Yeah. He's, he, What's I the told him, I, you're not ready for Queen because they're all staring at you guys. They're all staring at us because <laughs> they're like, these guys don't look like uh, they shop at American Eagle. Where they're from? Where they come from? Yeah, we, we pretty much look like postgraduate homeless people <laughs> in the cafeteria. Some I never, guy. I never got to experience college, so thank you very much did, for did you see the opening kid? my eyes. My favorite part is my far, my favorite part of the, the band re experience was the the guys who just came from working out at the pack and they come out with like 30 glasses on their tray of oh, juice. Yeah. You're Can like, why do they do that? Why don't you just cups. go back? What? They give you such little cups there. Like, yeah. why don't they give you a bigger glass? No. But there was this girl. I don't know. I, I don't know if anyone told you, but there was this girl that had like 40 glasses of milk, really? and like we're thinking, okay, she likes milk. She's gonna do it one at a time. <laughs> she did them like after she finished her meal. She did them back to back, like a glass of white milk, chocolate milk, white milk, white <laughs> milk, done. Tray and thing gone. Sweet, sweet. So anything, anything you want to add to this this lovely little interview? Um. Uh. I don't know. I've always wanted to be on. Uh, I've always wanted to have my opportunity to say something on yeah. QTV or, or. Well, this is your chance. And now I have nothing to say. I was always dreaming about this. I was a, it was a first year student. I was like, I'm gonna like, say something. Oh, I want to say TV. something important. I've got something to say that's important. And it's. It's that. 
I guess all I have ever to have said was that I think Bannery is a great place to go people watching. Good. It is. I, I can attest to that. Yeah. Sweet. All right. Thanks well, man. thanks so much. Thanks for this intro. It's killer to be back in Kingston, and I hope you guys have a good show. I hope so too. Cool. Thanks.